wrong with just calling me Jiro like you always have? Well... I think you're making things too complicated, my lady. Why can't you just call me Alice? Fine, then why don't you just call me Jiro? No way. I want to be able to call you by your full name. is a group that completely defies the company and the Special Zone's conventions. And Zellman's at the center of it all. Have you heard of him before? Yes, and I'm beginning to see. The Special Zone is home to the most unexpected people. I'll have you know, I've been appointed Zellman's right-hand man. If anything were to happen to me, he wouldn't take it on. Yes! So think twice before you kill me! Believe me, I have no desire to juicy rumor, but don't you think it sounds a little too good to be true? But it is true! You see, the person acting as the Silverblade's guide is... Oh, it's Mimiko Katsuragi! Mimiko Katsuragi? Sorry, that doesn't ring a bell. I promise I'm not lying to you! She's the one! Okay, sure thing, Habari. Thank you for the heads up. Stories are the lifeblood of an information broker, after all. I just thought that I should return the favor from the other day. So I guess you could say we're even now. Well, I sympathize with the girl. Huh? This Mimiko Katsuragi? She's gonna be in for a rough time. I wouldn't want to be her right now. Uh. Your guests have arrived. Uh. You're here. I know. Humans are attracted to us vampires. I feel it in the way you stare. <laughs> it's written all over your face. Wow, you're pretty. Thanks. How are you? My name's Kataro Mochizuki. Huh. It seems that you're the only one in this bunch with any manners, little boy. That's an odd little brother you have there, Silverblade. He somehow seems different than the reincarnations of Sei. You speak as if you knew the Sage. No, unfortunately, I've never met her. But then, 
If you live as long as I have, you tend to hear all sorts of stories. <laughs> Enjoy the cola. Yes! <laughs> you shouldn't be so tense. Staying on edge all the time will only be to your detriment. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks for the cookies! I didn't expect such a lowbrow reception from the Crimson Eyed Zellman. Oh, please. Can we stop with these games? Didn't know I was playing. You're so uptight compared to your little brother. Did you not learn anything from the Sage's teachings? That's a subject that I'd rather not talk about. Surely the matter is of no concern to you, Zellman. Well, that's true enough. Let's say we... Start from the beginning. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Elman Clark. He with eyes the color of blood. The last descendant of the legendary warrior Asura's bloodline. My name is Jiro Mochizuki, and I am of the Sage Eve's bloodline. Ten years ago, during the Kulan Shock, I became known as the Silver Blade. Though I have lived a hundred years, my pulse is yet shallow. So may your course go unhindered, and may our hearts both beat strongly. That was quite the formal introduction. August acted without my permission, and for that I apologize to you. I thank you. So, will you be joining forces with the company? Huh? Have you not yet heard of their plan, Compromiser? It seems that your executives want the Silver Blade all to themselves. Uh, they do? Oh. Why would Janai assign someone like her to the task without even explaining the situation? If you have no intentions of befriending anyone, then I suppose that siding with the company is a good idea. That way, you'll retain a neutral position while dealing with the various houses in power. Neutral? You must be joking. <laughs> I'm sure the company already has enough problems keeping things running smoothly. Welcoming a nuisance like myself would be too much of a challenge. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't think that's true, brother. I mean, Mimiko is really nice and she works for the company. Maybe they'll be as nice as she is. I mean, you can't assume they'll reject us without even asking. The company would only welcome us for their own gain. But you don't know that, brother. The company people need us, right? What would be so wrong about helping them with their problems? You may be right, Kataro. People's hearts often have both a hidden and an open side. And just because there is a hidden agenda, that doesn't mean that what's out in the open is meaningless. <laughs> right, right! Yes, it seems your older brother was being a little presumptuous. I hope you'll forgive me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Did you say your name was Kataro? To be honest, I've developed quite an interest in you and your brother, Kataro. So how about it? Why don't you stay here and join forces with me? That's very nice. But you're a bad person, aren't you, Mr. Zellman? Yes, but being one of the bad guys can have its advantages. I like to fight for justice. I don't want to give that up. Evil never wins, but good always will. Is that so? Then that's too bad. But if you ever tire of the company's justice, don't hesitate to come back. You'll always be welcome. Thanks, but I don't want you to hold your breath waiting. My brother and I are vampires of justice, and I don't see us changing. <laughs> Silverblade, Kataro, and the Compromiser. I'd like to thank you for the visit. This was truly a pleasant way to stave off boredom. When next we meet, we may be enemies, but yet I look forward to seeing you again. Farewell for now. I can't believe it. He's just letting them walk out of here. August, you need to just calm down. It is yet to be determined if the Silverblade is our enemy. It seems Zellman's fangs have dulled with the passage of time. Or perhaps he's simply lost his nerve with the return of this kin killer. Ugh, you arrogant fool! Damn it! I can deal with this humiliation no longer. The great August Liker will not back down without a fight. 
You'll pay for what you've done to me, Silver Blade. The Master is busy right now and can't be disturbed. You'll have to try again later. going on? Don't worry, Mimiko. I'm sure they have reason for not meeting with us. Remember, not everything is always as it appears to be. But what are we going to do? That was unexpected. I can't believe that the Saiyan warlock houses would both refuse to accept the Silver Blade. <laughs> I was sure they would jump at the opportunity to bring him into their fold. If they did so, they would definitely strengthen their influence. They must have a reason for rejecting him, of which we are unaware. The affiliate houses have continued to show honesty and deference to us to ensure that humans will remain in the position of leadership. Even if they don't believe in what we do, they've always made a public show of supporting us. But now it seems they're keeping secrets. I will investigate the matter immediately. Please do. Mimi, what are we gonna do now? Let's just go back to my place. I'll cook you something for dinner. Yay! <laughs> hey, why'd we stop? There's something I haven't asked you yet. And what's that? Now, be honest with me. Why did you come here to the special zone? The truth, Jiro, now. And look me in the eye. Um, well, it's just that I... Ah, look at me. <sighs> and if you use the eye rate on me, I'll beat the crap out of you. I have no intention of doing that. Then answer. Well, I... Hey there! <sighs> We had just about given up on you. Where on earth have you been hiding? Jiro, darling. Do you know how long we've been waiting for you? What the? Well, you know, I just didn't feel right inviting ourselves into this girl's apartment. That's no excuse for forcing the Lord Dragon to dine outdoors. It's fine. But... I haven't had a picnic in a while. It's fun. Oh, I see then. I'm happy to hear that. In that case... I'll do my best to refrain from complaining for the rest of the evening. It's quite insulting to make promises to the Lord Dragon that you're incapable of keeping. What did you just say to me? So what is the reason for your visit to the Special Zone? I'm not obligated to answer any of your questions. Then why don't you leave? Nor am I obligated to do as you say. You're nothing but a nuisance! And why is that my problem? He's the general manager of the Marine Bank. I don't think talking to him like that's a good idea. Don't worry. Excuse me for saying so, but you've certainly reincarnated into a rather cute new form. Mm. It's good, seeing you. I never got a chance to thank you for what you did. It's in the past. Forget about it. So you're a black blood too, aren't you? And you live in that giant mansion we went to earlier today? Yes. That's awesome! And your name must be Say, am I right? That's right. Nice to meet you. My name's Kitaro. Kitaro? Yep. You don't talk much, do you, Say? I don't know why, but for some reason you remind me of the princess. She's my older sister. What? The Dark Princess of the North. That's my sister. No way! Really? Really. We have the same parents. What a surprise! But I haven't seen her in a very long time. I can't wait till we see each other again. Wow! That's amazing! I never thought I'd meet the princess's little brother! We could be best friends! I just came out of the princess's sanctuary and I really don't know much about the outside world yet. Your name's Kane, right, mister? And you're my brother's friend, huh? I... I wouldn't say that. Kane and I are simply old acquaintances, Kitaro. He used to run out on errands all the time to fetch bread and milk for our group back in the day. The hell I did! Oh yeah? But you always took care of an assortment of chores for us, remember? You're such a fool! I did that for the Lady Sage and Cassandra! I was merely looking after the best interest of the Lady Sage. I never did anything for you. Um, excuse me, may I say something? Yes, what is it? Earlier this afternoon, I took these two by the Marine Bank into Say's residence. They wanted to gain acceptance to one of the houses. But in both cases... 
Shiro, I... Lord Dragon, allow me to explain it to them. The real reason they refused to grant you an interview today is because I ordered them not to. At the moment, I'm afraid we cannot welcome the Silver Blade into our house. And, furthermore, we can't allow him to stay in the Special Zone. What? Why can't he stay? You two are old friends, aren't you? Jiro fought against the Kulan children. He protected the Special Zone. I think he's earned this. I'm afraid that's neither here nor there. Wherever the Silver Blade goes, unnecessary commotions arise and follow in his wake. And there's no guarantee that the next commotion that arises around Jiro will be as easily contained as the Float Mart incident. The presence of the Silver Blade is nothing but kindling for conflict in the Special Zone. That's terrible. You can't blame him for that. He shouldn't have to leave. He has nowhere else to go. I can't believe this. You're just gonna abandon your friend? It, it's so unfair he hasn't done anything wrong. The Special Zone is not as peaceful as it appears to be. I know that you're not happy with what I've said. But you're a compromiser, so you must understand and you must respect our decision. I know. What are we gonna do? We've been turned down on all sides. It's okay. I'm sorry. There must be a way for you to stay. I hate to ask you for another favor, but... Would you mind putting us up for another night? <laughs> you wanna go home? <laughs> Enough is enough! Have you not learned your lesson? <laughs> I told you, didn't I, Silver Blade, that you wouldn't get away with making a fool of me! It's made of silver! And all insolent newcomers get their heads lopped off! And that's the coven's code! <laughs> I heard nothing of this code from Zelman. That's because he doesn't know anything about it! That's Zelman! He doesn't care about our coven! Damn it all! Are you intoxicated or just insane? If I were you, I'd stop taking this so lightly! <laughs> Make sure you acknowledge me no matter what it takes! I'll burn your ass for sure! Brother, he didn't hurt you, did he? I'm fine. <laughs> Thank goodness. But I have my suspicions. Something was different. Huh? August was like another person from when we saw him earlier at the market. Yeah, I guess he was. Well, Mimiko, what do you say we go home for the night? Sure thing. <laughs> 